Miss Martin and this is your lesson on beakers and graduated cylinders. So this, this is a 250 milliliter beaker. This does not measure liquids. You just use it to hold things like this solution, for example. Over here, we have three different sizes of graduated cylinder. First one, this is 10 milliliters. Second one, this is 25 milliliters. And the third one, this is 100 milliliters. These are used to measure liquids. So what we can do, carefully, we'll use this one because this one is, um, has a cool measuring thing. So similar to the pipettes, we want to measure it so the meniscus is touching the bottom of the measurement. Um, for example, if we want to measure out 10 milliliters, we will slide this cool little blue thing that helps us with measuring to 10 milliliters. What this does, it shows us where the meniscus should be hitting. So what we're gonna do is carefully, hopefully I won't spill this, put it on the table and get down at eye level. And slowly pour and carefully pour. Another really awesome way to do this is with those pipettes that uh, are currently over there. Let's go get one. Let's grab one. If you ever need a transfer pipette, there should be some on your tabletop. Yeah. So this pipette. Um, when measuring this, it's a really good idea to pour really close to the measurement that you need. So I did not go all the way to the 10 milliliters over here. I'm doing this backwards, actually. We're measuring, my bad, 15 milliliters. Again, um, with micro pipettes, it's similar. There's a measurement that goes from bottom to top and top to bottom. Um, so make sure that you are going to do from the bottom to the top. So this shows that we are uh, measuring out 15 milliliters of this blue solution. So you pour really closely to what you want it to be and then use a transfer pipette to get the last little bit because if you just pour it in, it's going to go way over and then you have way too much solution. So what we can do is with this, pick up some solution and carefully just do drops until we get to what we need. and sometimes it can be a little faster if you need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do this quickly because it's not quite there yet. And now that it's getting closer to it, I'll actually turn it this way. Um, we'll do it really slow. couple more drops because that's like the top of it and it's a very slow process just to make sure that you guys have it correctly and now we have maybe just one drop over but the meniscus at the 15 milliliter mark so make sure when you're measuring that you use the transfer pipette to get those last couple of drops so the meniscus is touching the bottom of the measurement line for 15 milliliters